Davison and Germer experiment The wave nature of electrons was first experimentally verified by C J Davison and L H Germer in 1927 apparatus the experimental arrangement shown in figure it consists of an electron gun which comprises of a tungsten filament f coated with barium oxide and heated by a low voltage power supply lt or battery electrons are emitted by the filament are accelerated to a desired velocity by applying suitable potential or voltage from a high voltage power supply ht or battery as you can see in this diagram they are made to pass through a cylinder with fine holes along its axis producing a fine collimated beam the beam is made to fall on the surface of a nickel crystal the electrons are scattered in all directions by the atoms of the crystal the intensity of the electron beam scattered in a given direction is measured by the electron detector that is also known as collector the detector can be moved on a circular scale and is connected to a sensitive galvanometer which records the current the deflection of the galvanometer is proportional to the intensity of the electron beam entering the collector the apparatus is enclosed in an evacuated chamber working by moving the detector on the circular scale at different positions the intensity of the scattered electron beam is measured for different values of angles of scattering theta which is the angle between the incident and the scattered electron beams the experiment was performed by varying the accelerating voltage from 44 volt to 68 volt it was noticed that a strong peak appeared in the intensity i of the scattered electron for an accelerating voltage of 54 volt at a scattering angle theta equals to 50 degree the appearance of the peak in a particular direction is due to the constructive interference of electrons scattered from different layers of the regularly spaced atoms of the crystals from the electron diffraction measurements the wavelength of the matter wave was found to be 0.165 nanometer the de broglie wavelength lambda associated with electrons using following equation for voltage v is equals to 54 volt is given by lambda is equals to h upon p or lambda is equals to 1.227 upon under root v nanometer after putting the value of voltage lambda is equals to 1.227 upon under root 54 nanometer that is equals to 0.167 nanometer thus there is an excellent agreement between the theoretical value and the experimentally obtained value of de broglie wavelength